In this video, we'll share the top 17 things to do in Mexico City. At number one, we have Palacio de Bellas Artes. Few architectural wonders in the Western Hemisphere can match the splendor of Mexico City's Palacio de Bellas Artes. Located adjacent to the verdant Alameda Park in the city's heart, this palace of fine arts boasts a history that began in 1904. Today, it hosts a myriad of art forms, from theater and opera to diverse art exhibitions. Its exterior alone is a sight to behold. At number two, Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, stands as a testament to the grandeur of pre-Hispanic Mesoamerica. These ancient ruins, nearly two millennia old, are astonishingly well-preserved. The massive pyramids, including the Temple of Quetzalcoatl and the Pyramids of the Moon and Sun, are the site's highlights. At number three, we have Floating Gardens of Xochimilco. Xochimilco, a borough in Mexico City, is renowned for its floating gardens. These gardens, recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987, are remnants of an ancient Aztec water transport system. Today, visitors can rent vibrant gondola-style boats for leisurely cruises along the river. At number four, Chapultepec Park. Chapultepec Park, spanning 686 hectares, is a green oasis in the heart of Mexico City. Once a royal retreat during the Aztec era, the park now offers walking, running, and biking trails, houses the Chapultepec Zoo, and features several renowned museums. At number five, we have National Anthropology Museum. Situated at the northern end of Chapultepec Park, the National Anthropology Museum showcases Mexico's most significant ethnographic collections. The museum's modern, angular structure is an architectural marvel in its own right. At number six, Plaza del Zócalo. The Plaza del Zócalo, Mexico City's central square, has been a pivotal location in Mexican history for over seven centuries. It houses the country's Supreme Court, the National Palace, and the iconic Mexico City Metropolitan Cathedral. At number seven, we have Museo Nacional de Arte, Munal. Mexico's National Art Museum, often overlooked by tourists, is a gem. The museum's grandeur is evident from its majestic staircase, ornate rooms, and tranquil courtyard. At number eight, Templo Mayor. The Aztecs revered Templo Mayor as the universe's center. Today, this UNESCO World Heritage Site has been transformed into a museum, part indoor exhibit and part archaeological dig. At number nine, we have Chapultepec Castle. Overlooking Chapultepec Park from its hilltop location, Chapultepec Castle is one of North America's two royal palaces. The castle's expansive grounds, both inside and out, are open to the public. At number 10, Mexico City Metropolitan Cathedral. The Metropolitan Cathedral, the Western Hemisphere's largest Catholic church, is a testament to architectural brilliance. Its construction spanned almost 250 years, and its intricate interior is worth exploring. At number 11, we have the Angel of Independence. Situated in the midst of a traffic circle, the Independence Angel is an iconic landmark in Mexico City. Constructed in 1910, it remains a symbol of national pride. At number 12, Sumaya Museum. The Sumaya Museum in Polanco is recognized for its modern curvilinear structure. The museum's collection ranges from historical artifacts to contemporary art. At number 13, we have Frida Kahlo Museum. The Frida Kahlo Museum, also known as Casa Azul for its blue exterior, was once the residence of the iconic artist. It offers a glimpse into her life, art, and complex personal history. At number 14, Mirador Torre Latino America. For panoramic views of Mexico City, the observation deck of the Torre Latino America skyscraper is a must visit. The tower provides a bird's eye perspective of the sprawling metropolis. At number 15, we have Trotsky Museum. This museum, dedicated to Leon Trotsky, the Marxist revolutionary, is a haven for history enthusiasts. Located in the Coyoacan neighborhood, it provides insights into the life and times of the communist figure. At number 16, Palacio Postal. 
the Palacio Postal, still a functioning post office, is one of Mexico City's most photogenic spots. Its ornate staircases and intricate interior designs are a visual treat. At number 17, we have Lucha Libre. For an evening of high-octane entertainment, attending a Lucha Libre wrestling match is a must. The theatrical performances and passionate crowds make it a unique experience in Mexico City. So that sums up my top 17 things to do in Mexico City. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day. Great.